YouTube, it's Ergo. Wait, no, it's Ben. Vlog Enigma. Today, I just wanted to give you guys some sort of behind the scenes on yesterday's video, the one with the clones. Uh, thanks everyone that watched it. I had a great time doing it and I'm glad it turned out as well as it did. Not perfect by any means, but anyway, so if you ever wanted to do clones, it's actually really not that hard as long as you at least have uh, software that supports it. Uh, sort of some of the tips. What I did first, uh, I filmed it in this room right here, my uh, living room, but one of the first things you want to make sure you do is have consistent lighting throughout it. So I waited until it was dark. Uh, right now you see there's sunlight here, so if the sun goes between a cloud or something like that, it's going to cause a problem and the lighting will be inconsistent and it'll look really, really weird. So I, I recommend doing it at night when you have good lights. Like I, I use these lights right here. I turn on overhead light on that side and also on that side there. So I had good lighting. Now, the next thing to do, I used a tripod, and what you wanna do is you wanna put your camera on a tripod and film both things at the same time, uh, both you know sides of it. So, like I filmed it right here, I did one take on this side, and then I went over onto the other side, and I did the take over here as well. And for me, <laughs> what I did for this one in particular is I, I didn't know all the answers, I didn't memorize the list, so I had a printout of the list there, and I also stood very still. If I was gonna do this again, I, I was thinking that probably what would be better is if I recorded one and then played it back and sort of answered the question so I'd be able to interact with myself a bit more and I had a lot of jump cuts because <laughs> I, I just like answered a question stood completely still because I knew I was going to be cutting it and you can see I'm sort of jumping around a little bit so those are little tips to make it better but uh, the other thing you know just again put the camera in one place I was using sort of the fireplace here as uh, my guide for things not to step in front of I knew I wanted to have the phone right here so I had it in front of the actual fireplace and then I, I stood on this side did the video making sure I didn't cross over into there and I did the same thing over on this side you know not crossing into the fireplace so having some sort of reference is really important because if you go over crossing into the same shots you're gonna get all sorts of weird clippiness and you don't want that anyway those are really the tips for the sort of uh, shooting itself let's go on upstairs and I'll sure show you how to do it in the editing it's really not that complicated all right so we are now in Sony Vegas uh, the program I used to do my editing version 9 and uh, You'll see here that I have sort of uh, three timelines. I have uh, the clone on the left, the clone on the right, and then this one down here you can see is the one with the cell phone there. And then I have audio for the, both the right and the left, and the one with the cell phone, I, I didn't need the audio. And uh, lastly, down at the very bottom is the music. So how I did this was, uh, first off, you layer all three clips that you're gonna wanna have here on top of each other. Uh, and it sort of goes from the bottom to the top. So the bottom here, I don't do any clipping and I'm using the entire bottom scene. On the middle, you see if I go into the event pan crop, I, you can use the uh, anchor tool, anchor creation tool over here and you sort of, let me delete what's there currently. You go and create this little anchor and you sort of draw a little line around what you want to box in. So simple as that, connect it up there, now I connected. And it's good, it's okay to go outside of here, but you wanna to try to keep it in as much as possible to the actual object there. And you just basically do that for each of the different panes. I'm gonna do it on the top one also. You'll see that I have myself boxed in over here. And this is what I was talking about. You never want to cross over to the fireplace. So I stayed all the way on this side of it because the fireplace was where the phone was gonna be. And then my other clone's sitting on the other side here. Since I was just doing a complete left to right, I didn't really care about this top part where the lines were, so it looks like this is where I put it right here. One thing to do also is uh, before you split, you know, do the little cuts uh, for each of the video things, make sure you set the, the, the clone boundaries beforehand, otherwise you're going to have to do it on each one separately and it's not going to be fun. But basically that's really all there is to it. So if you see if I like mute this side here, my clone goes away. And if I mute the, uh, the cell phone one, it goes away there. And really, that's all there is to it. You just line the things up. Uh, one thing you can do also to sort of make the transition a little smoother, it's um, encouraged, is this feather type here. Just set it to both and set it to 0.02. And it sort of makes it so 
it evens out the transition between the, the two sides here so it's not a harsh line it sort of blends things together but if you keep the consistent lighting you don't move the camera at all and you just you know never cross over into the same scene this should be uh, a real easy way to do cloning at least in sony vegas so i hope you found that useful and uh maybe you can do a clone video as well if you uh, do one now leave it as a video response here i'll check yours out and don't forget to check out the one i did yesterday if you haven't seen it yet thanks for watching guys thanks for subscribing leaving lots of comments and i'll see you again tomorrow have a great day